turning your head side to side. Um, you can also do this laying on your back. So just letting your head rest, your, your head rest might be nice with a folded blanket below you and just turning your head side to side. So you could do this in bed. You could do this at the end of the day, midday, whatever. If you wanna take a minute to lay down or do it standing. You can then take your head side to side. So it's different. We're now side bending, not turning our head. We're going side to side, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. So that's a good one to do. And then this is the more strengthening. And this is one of my favorites. So I started doing this when I was nursing because I was doing it all of the time that I would just try to pull my head back. So it's really super attractive. You're basically making a double chin. You're pulling your head back. This lengthens the back of the neck and brings your head back into a good position. Oftentimes I'll say to people, feel length in the back of your neck and they'll do this. They'll look up to the sky. So see if you could imagine that length in the back of the neck. And when you find that, so you're doing double chin, you're just gonna start to nod, super small, nod the chin. So this is called head nods. You're just nodding your chest to your, your chin to your chest, super small. And you can do this on your back. It's really, you can do it on your back just without anything, or it feels really good to do it with a ball or two balls under your head. So you could take one or two balls. Actually, I might lift it up a little bit onto something, a stack of books or blocks. Oh yeah, and you're just nodding your chin to your chest. Super small, feels so good. So you can try that. The third, uh, third one, I guess, would be you're drawing your head back and you can just practice that. Let it come forward, draw your head back. Let it come forward, draw your head back. Make that double chin. Then you're doing little head nods. Then you're gonna do circles, just like you're making a circle with your nose. And it's small, you're not like wildly moving your head. You're just making small circles with your nose. Okay, move your head side to side. Mm-hmm. You can go up and down, and then you're gonna do chin tuck, so pull your chin in make tiny little head nods and little circles. All of those are really amazing. Those are so simple that you can just start to put that into your day when you take a break at your desk, um, take a break or after you finish feeding, or even while, just do you know, small little movements. So easy, so easy.